Hey guys, back again with the quacking bush. I'm not ready to give up on this thing just yet. So I did a little bit more research on this thing and I'm willing to move forward with more ammunition tests. So my biggest concern to review, uh, when I originally got it, it was a block of rust. I ended up getting it back in working order. Due to the age, there's concerns if the metal can stand up to higher pressures. Not the 22s are terribly high pressure, but either way, it still pays to be cautious, right? Um, so I tried it out with some 22 shorts and based on the results I ended up having, grossly underpowered results, I'm gonna test it out today. I'm at the 25 yard line and I have some CCI quiets. So these only go up to about 710 feet per second. So these are subsonic, relatively low velocity lead bullets. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get it printing on the paper down there and uh, see what we can do as far as that goes. The biggest concern that I have overall, it's the weak action on the quacking bush. <laughs> when they built this thing, head spacing was probably an afterthought, or at least that's what it looks like. So there's a little bit of a, you know, kind of a pucker factor there uh, as far as worrying about an in-chamber detonation of the shell or something like that. Now, this isn't super high powered like a 30-06 or something like that, so I'm not expecting something catastrophic, but I still don't want to destroy the gun. I don't want to risk getting shrapnel in my face. And overall, the objective, of course, is to get this thing shooting. Uh, worst case scenario, it ends up as a wall hanger. I'd rather not do that, so that's why we're out here testing it. But anyway, I'll get the target set up down there at the 25, and we're gonna get started with these CCI 22 quiets. Well, here we go. Let's give it a shot at 25. <clears throat> I don't feel like these are gonna cause any kind of issue. They are chambering just fine. Uh, low velocity, so I got a good feeling about this. All right, I heard a hit. I don't see a hit, but I heard a hit. I'm hearing impacts, but I'm not seeing impacts. So I just conducted an experiment real quick because I noticed it was printing low again. Um, I walked up to about 25 feet and I took aim and it started hitting where I was aiming. I think this thing might be able to do 22 long rifles in standard velocity. These low velocity ones, they're hitting low. They're hitting way low. I'm thinking I might need to step up the horsepower a little bit. And so far, everything's fine. I'm not seeing any issues. So maybe this thing's a little bit more robust than I actually give it credit for. So let's try it a couple more shots just to see how we're doing. Uh, let's do three more with the quiets and then uh, let's try some standard velocity. Let's see if we can pull this off. Aiming at the very top of the target. I think we're seeing something here. I think we just figured this thing out. Let's go check out the target. Looks like we're finally making some headway here. <clears throat> so this one I was aiming about here and these last three I was aiming here. So I think, I think we're starting to get somewhere. The CCI 22 quiets, those also seem to be underpowered. Uh, I was probably looking at maybe five inches of drop, just at 25 yards. So I think I'm giving this thing too little credit. So we're gonna step it up a notch. We're gonna go up to 40 grain standard velocity, 1,000 feet per second, Federals. Let's see how we do on this. That's more like it. 
Now it seems like that first one had a little bit of an extraction issue. I wonder if uh, the shell over expanded. We're looking good so far. We're facing extraction issues though. I think with that head spacing, the, um, the shells are getting expanded. So we're at the standard velocity, first couple shots, I was having trouble extracting. Now if you look very, very, very carefully, very slight, the shell is expanded. And that's kind of what I feared was due to the head spacing issue. So we just got to approach with caution. Same thing. Expanded shell. Those last two went high, it looks like. Another expanded shell. Let's see how we did. So this is actually telling us quite a bit. Standard velocities generally went high, but most importantly, look, every single one of them tumbled. Every single one. So we just learned some valuable lessons there. So the standard velocity here, no go. I'm not shooting any more of those. A uh, couple of reasons. Um, not so much for the pattern that they were throwing, but every single one of them, every single one of those five shots of the standard velocity started tumbling. They hit the target going sideways. No bueno. Uh, the second issue was every single one of them had a failure to extract because of an expanded shell. And that's obviously due to the head spacing. Not terrible news, okay? That just it's just information gathering here so uh, no damage no shrapnel on my face um, but I will not be using standard velocity anymore I did not seem to have any issues with the reduced velocity though the quiet 22s they seem to do okay so 25 yards off the tripod I was seeing severe drop from those lower velocities but when I was standing at about 25 feet they did actually pretty decently, <laughs> they did okay. So, I think I'm gonna come to a conclusion here. It's a pop can shooter, yep. Uh, <laughs> it's not long range, it's not precision. This is something that I set up pop cans uh, out in the yard or something and I stand about 25 feet away <laughs> and I just have fun with them. I gotta keep velocity low uh, to prevent any possibility of major damage to the gun or myself uh, especially looking at those expanded cases those are just a thousand feet per second out of those federals so imagine if I would have put something high power out of there I probably would have had a burst case mm -mm, not doing it I'm glad that I approached all this with caution uh, especially seeing those head spacing issues that tells you quite a bit so with these old ones these beat up ones it's always best practice to approach with caution always it took me three parts in the series to, uh, <laughs> to kind of get somewhat of a conclusion, but that's just how you got to do it sometimes, you know. Um, this isn't the latest, greatest, you know, whiz-bang rifle that you can get off the shelf today. This thing's over 100 years old. I'm happy it's shooting. I'm happy it's working. All right. <laughs> Interesting conclusions. I'm still happy with it. It's still a very unique, weird rifle. <laughs> 
And uh, this will be something fun to show off to my buddies when we're shooting and stuff. Um, fun pop can shooter. Let's give it a couple more shots. I'm going to see if I can hit them swingers. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> Up high and left does the trick. Oh, bummer. These ones are extracting no problem. <laughs> There's another ding. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, getting dings. <laughs> Twenty-five feet to dead ringer. <laughs> no problems now. You know what? I don't think I've ever come across anything like this. <laughs> this is really a unique rifle. Uh, it truly is. It's a very short range, very simple rifle. And when you're within 25 feet, or I'd say I'm yeah, like 10, 15 yards, somewhere thereabouts, <laughs> it, it shoots perfectly. <laughs> uh, you guys just saw that I was dinging cans and uh, swingers and and whatnot. I'm gonna do it again. Boom. <laughs> uh, it's it's fun. It's it's a fun rifle. Um, I'm glad that uh, I did the additional testing. I was able to kind of figure out uh, what kind of range this thing's actually meant for, and uh, what kind of ammunition would be most suitable for it. The Quiet 22s, the CCIs, um, 700 feet per second, 710, whatever it is. Um, those are right on the nose. They're doing good. No damage. Uh, no head spacing issues. No expanded cases. No tumbling. They're dinging it. They're doing just fine. If you guys stuck around with the whole series, thanks for watching, guys. I've had a lot of fun with this. It's been an adventure uh, working with this rifle um, from start to finish, from a very kind of a sad beginning to a pretty happy ending. It's turned out very well. It's turned out very, very well. Anyway, guys, uh, don't forget to check out our friends over there at Workaday Custom Gun Leather, custom made to order. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. Until next time. I gotta take another shot with this thing. <laughs>